Hey. Hi. Any interesting facts to tell us today? Interesting, huh? Yeah, let me think. Mm -hmm. Let me tell the tales of the invasive aliens. By alien species, I do not mean real alien aliens from outer space like the Martians, but non-native species they were brought into Singapore and they do not belong here. So people bring them in whether it is intentionally or unintentionally and they start spreading very rapidly all over our land and that is when we call them alien species. And what very good example is right here. This is the red-eared slider, also fondly known as our pet terrapins, but they were actually introduced here in the 1980s as part of the pet trade. What people don't realise is that these turtles can grow up to 50 years and halfway they just decided that they don't want them because they are a bit big and ugly not like when they are small and cutesy and what do they do? They just release them into random ponds and rivers and some people do that on Visak Day because yeah, it's a tradition sort of, it's a practice so that's when they actually establish themselves and start to spread really rapidly What other pets are you see? The Lohan fish, the red claw crayfish and actually also the Javan Mina. Those are different than the ones that we used to see in Singapore when we were young. Those were the common miners. You can see this yellow eye patch. Javan miners were introduced in Singapore in 1930s as part of the pet trade and then it exploded and now it's just everywhere. Any species are not only introduced because of the pet industry, but also because of the food industry. The frog leg porridge, Tian Zhou, is actually from this American bullfrog that was imported for the food industry and then some that escaped and just exploded outside. And another example would be like the rock pigeon or the rock dove that we see everywhere. Also for the food industry, they came here, was accidentally released or escaped and they proliferate outside. And also, oh, it's a toman fish. Toman fish is really interesting. They actually have this air breathing organ which makes them walk over short distances on land. That's why they are hardy and they survive really well outside. What else is invasive here? Ooh, mussels. Huh? I meant mussels. The ones that we eat, they are not invasive. But there's another species that has been invading our waters two years ago. Those are the American brackish water mussel. And how they came here? The shipping industry. So when ships from other countries come in, they release their ballast waters into our shores. And these ballast can carry larvae and eggs of the mussels and barnacles, that's how they enter our land. So they like, overtake the whole entire land and other animals cannot come onto their land or creatures like horseshoe crabs, they lay eggs on these mud flats, they cannot even lay their eggs anymore. That's how the ecosystems get affected. In that case, why don't we just harvest that and eat? Cannot! That one, the mussels are filter feeders, so they suck all the taping, milo pink waters of Singapore shores, you know, and they accumulate inside their body. We cannot eat, it will die. You've been talking about a lot of animal Indians, right? But what about plant aliens? Do they exist? Yes! There, 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 there. Actually, any trees you see on your roadside and your parts are probably alien species introduced by our government to shade us from the sun. This is the rosy trumpet tree, also known as Singapore's cherry blossom. Pretty sure some of you have Insta photos of it. The rosy trumpet tree is not exactly invasive yet, but it's showing signs of it. So, I can't talk about trees, we're talking about the soil. In the soil, looks the African land snail, which is the huge ass snails we see all around us. These snails are actually brought in by, guess what? Soil from other countries when people import soil to Singapore. So the eggs are actually hidden inside. So when they finally brought soil and just dumped in Singapore, the eggs started hatching into baby snails and that's it. Having said that, it's quite inevitable that these things are happening because we humans were the one that actually brought them in in the first place. So now that they're actually here, what can we actually do? Step on more snails and kill them. No, I'm not joking. Uh, government agencies have measures in place to deal with these animals, but what we can do on our part is to not release unwanted pets into our local area if we don't want them, don't even buy them in the first place. And most of them do not actually survive once you release them in the wild because they are domesticated. And even if they do, they have the potential to become local alien invasive species that drive our local biodiversity to extinction. Yeah. That's all. Just keep thinking.